Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to another Baptist Bread Daily Devotional. It is Monday, uh, September 23rd, 2019, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And this is Brother Scott bringing you these devotionals each and every day as I'm able to. Amen. So let me flip this around and we will get started on today's topic. All right. Welcome, everyone. And this is Brother Scott again. And today's devotional topic is titled, The Work of His Hands. Amen. For Monday, September 23rd, 2019. And the title again is The Work of His Hands. And it's a nice, cooler day out here in Florida. Amen. Praise the Lord that we are finally getting some cooler weather here in Florida. Usually we don't get the cooler weather until around October, November, December even. And so praise the Lord that God has brought some cooler weather this way earlier in the year. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And He is always good. Amen. All right, so the verse for today is Hebrews 1.10, and it says, And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. Hebrews 1.10. And the author of today's devotional is D.P., and that is short for... Uh, let's see here, go down here, for David Perdue, and he is a pastor of First Baptist Church in Milford, uh, Delaware, I believe that is, D-E, Delaware, yep, amen, all right, so let us get started on the topic that he wrote about today, as we start with the work of his hands, and he says, our church, he's talking about his church, uh, the church he pastors at, our church entered a couple of floats in the local fall parade one year. It was our, a first for us, he says, and I was fascinated at the imagination, talent, and the work of the people. Amen. It has been interesting to learn some of the details involved, especially in handmade specialty items. And he says on here, he says, I was reminded of those things as I read our text, which mentions that the heavens are the works of thine hands. Amen. They're the works of Jesus, God's hands. Amen. And he created the heavens and the earth, and he paints the sky and the clouds and puts all that into place. Hallelujah. And then he continues on. That same morning, I saw the last star of the night and the moon in the sky just before dawn and just stopped and stared for a few moments yeah how often do we just stop and look around and look at the creation that god has made for us all the trees and the the nature and everything how often do we just stop and just look and thank the lord for all of it amen and he continues on here he says it seems to me that if we are not careful we can forget the wonderful works of our great God. Yeah, how often do we forget because we get so busy and we get looking uh, all around us, but we don't look up or down or all around, and we just uh, tend to go and do do what we do and not uh, stop and take a few moments or even a day perhaps to just uh, go out and enjoy God's uh, nature and God's creation and what he uh has put down here for us to enjoy amen and as he continues on here he says as today unfolds be careful not to lose the awe of God's creation yeah look for something to take your breath away today consider the things God has made beautiful mountains and valleys soothing shores and seas delightful flowers and landscapes industrious ants and favored pets each can be viewed in uh, viewed as the works of his hands hallelujah ponder for a few moments today on something that god has made and delight in it yes let's delight in it amen and delight in the lord praise the lord so let us uh take a look morning so let's take a look and just enjoy what God has given us all around us, the trees, the birds, the flowers, the air, the sky, the clouds, everything. 
Amen. Praise God that he has made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So as he continues on here, he says, Decide today to thank God for the works of his hands and praise him for who he is and what he has done. So let's praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We should rejoice in the Lord. Brother James brought some good messages yesterday about praising the Lord and rejoicing in Him. Amen. And we should, uh, what was he saying? He was saying that we should um, ah, um, be filled with, uh, oh man, what was he saying? Um, oh, help me out there. Uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, man, how, how soon we forget. Um, be filled with uh, His love. With, uh, be filled with His love. Amen. Call on the... Uh, the God of love, amen, God God is love, amen, so let's uh, learn to love one another and love God more and have his, uh, his love be filled in our hearts, amen, all right, so as he wraps it up, he says, uh, the author says here, and then stand amazed that he cares about, he passionately loves each of us, amen, praise God that he loves each of us, even when we're unlovable, <laughs> yeah, so we should learn to love each other even when one of us is unlovable to the other one. Amen. All right. So that was the work of his hands, the work of God's hands. And let's look around and praise him. And I praise him today for this glorious, cooler day. Amen. Because we don't get many cool days down here in Florida. So praise the Lord for a cooler day. Hallelujah. All right. Yes, he sure does. He gives us peace. Peace if we allow him to give us peace. Amen. All right. So, now that we've read the devotional part, let us get into the uh, reading today, which is Galatians chapter 2. Sorry about the background noise, uh, but hey, that's what uh, what's uh, going on around me. Amen. <laughs> All right. So, Galatians chapter 2 today for our morning reading. So if you have your authorized version of the Bible, you are welcome to follow along. But if you're driving or if you're at work or someplace where you're not able to open your Bible, just listen along and you can go back later and get the entirety of this devotional and Bible reading for today. Amen. All right. So Galatians chapter 2 and verse 1 says thus, Then... Fourteen years after I went up again to Jerusalem, Paul says, with Barnabas, and took Titus with me also, and I went up by revelation, and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. Yeah, so let's not run in vain. But neither Titus who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. Amen for that liberty in Christ Jesus, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Amen. But of these who seem to be somewhat whatsoever they were, it maketh no matter to, to me, he says, God accepted no man's person. Yeah, God accepted no man's person. For they who seem to be somewhat in conf uh, conference added nothing to me. But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be the pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would uh, that we should remember the poor, and uh, the same which I also was uh, forward to do. But when Peter was come to Antioch, 
I withstood him uh, to the face because he was to be blamed. <clears throat> so pretty much Paul rebuked Peter for before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles, but when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews dissembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. Uh, so, because Peter did this, he caused others to uh, get off track of what was uh, the main thing, which is the gospel, not the not being whether you were circumcised or not circumcised. It was uh, if you trusted Jesus or not. Uh, but when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? Right, because uh, we're not Jews. So, uh, we who are Jews by nature, and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. So, right. So again, Paul says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Amen. That's right. And then he continues on, But if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is there uh, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. Amen. So let's live unto God, because we are dead to the law. So that we might live unto God, Paul says. And then he continues on, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for it, if righteousness can't, uh, come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So let's not frustrate the grace of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And verse 20, Brother Dean Runyon wrote a scripture song on that verse. Amen. So it's a good uh, scripture song. I uh, encourage you if you have uh, if you have a chance to go to Brother Dean's website. It's www. Uh, I was about to give you our church website. It's www. DailyScriptureSongs.com and you can go on there and listen to all his scripture songs and find out what's going on over there in Guyana, amen? And pray for those people over there because Brother Dean is not doing too well and he needs lots of prayer, so hope you'll pray for him. And uh, he seems to be back in the hospital at the moment. Uh, continue to pray for that man. He has, been a, he has been a real encouragement to me to keep going and praise the Lord for him. He... He just keeps going. He keeps having that joy in the Lord, even when he's sick and down and out, and continues to keep ministering to people wherever he's at. And we should, we should do that too. He should be a good example to us. <laughs> Amen. Along with all, the, all other missionaries that are out there doing the work of the Lord, and pray for those people that uh, he has uh, helped to uh, get established out there in Guyana. Pray for those uh, brothers and sisters in Christ out there that they'll keep wanting to go for Jesus and get the keep the work alive amen and that that work doesn't uh doesn't go by the wayside amen all right all right so now let us get into the proverb for today and today is the 23rd so we'll be in the 23rd proverb amen all right so let us go to proverbs 23 and verse number one says when thou sittest to eat with a ruler Consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Yeah, so uh, don't be a man given to appetite. Uh, it's good to eat, but don't uh, 
Don't be gluttonous, is basically what he's saying. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Uh, wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, and they, uh, they fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Yeah, that's the truth. Money flies away. Fly away, money. And there it is. Bye-bye, money. So make sure you're using your money wisely, and we should always be giving, uh, giving some to the Lord as, as uh, we can. It should always be going to the Lord first into the work of the ministry. Amen. And then paying bills and other stuff that uh, we should be responsible for. Amen. So we know that money and riches fly away, so don't be covetous of money because it's filthy lucre. All right, verse 6, Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Hmm, yikes. Uh, the morsel which thou hast eaten shall thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Oh, boy. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee. Apply thine heart unto instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Yes, so let us apply our hearts unto instruction, godly instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. That's godly knowledge. Amen. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him not, or be, if thou beatest him with the rod, sorry, he shall not die. Amen. Uh, thou shalt beat him with the rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my um. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reins shall rejoice when thy lips speak right things. Amen. Let not thine heart uh, envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. So let us be in the fear of the Lord all the day long, and not, uh, let not thine heart envy sinners. Amen. For surely there is not uh, there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth, yes, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Amen. So we shouldn't sell the truth. It should be offered freely to everyone. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bare thee shall rejoice. My son, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lieth in wait as for a prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine, look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its, his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. Uh, they have stricken me, shall thou say, and I was not sick. Uh, they have beaten me, and I felt it not. 
when shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Oh, boy. So, hearken unto those words. Amen. All right. Well, that was today's proverb. Proverbs 23. Praise the Lord. So let us rejoice in His holiness and His goodness and His mercy and His peace. And let's ask Him to fill our hearts with His love. Amen. Because His love is unconditional and never ends. Amen. All right. Well, that will wrap up today's devotional and Bible readings for today. And if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ yet, today is the day of salvation. So don't wait till tomorrow or the next moment because you're never guaranteed of what's going to happen next. So trust him today, friend, if you have not done so already. And for those that are out there that are believers, hope this was a help and a blessing to you. And I can encourage you to keep going for Christ. Amen. Keep on working for Jesus. Keep on going until the day we get caught up to meet him in the Lord, uh, meet the Lord in the air. Amen. All right. Well, this is Brother Scott, and I will be wrapping it up for today. And we'll see you, Lord willing, tomorrow for the closing prayer of Philippians. Amen. So we're going back into these closing prayers from the New Testament uh, books. Amen. So. And those uh, devotionals were from uh, Jim Green, so I hope you'll join me tomorrow sometime for the closing prayer of Philippians. All right, well, hope you all have a great and blessed, wonderful rest of your day. Amen. Bye-bye for now.